We don't talk. All right, so let's see. Let's see. What else can we talk about? Let's see. We got a few topics. I know people was asking me to talk about uh, this one guy. I've been talking about him for a while, so why not? Let's talk about David Pacman, a.k.a. Smug as Hell. I don't like that loser at all, right? I didn't know who he was until recently. You guys put me on, asked me to review his content. I was like, why people keep asking me to review his content? And then when I did, I was like, oh, it's because he's trash. It's because he's woke. It's because he's a bitch. And I was like, all right, I, I see it. I say every time he like it's on the screen, he just got to be so smug, right? I don't like smug people. This motherfucker cannot say nothing, and it looks like he thinks he's better than you. <laughs> That's what it looked like. He cannot say a word. He just did his smug face, just smug as hell, right? Acting like he know everything when he don't. He gets smoked in every debate he ever had, right? If I even debated him, it would be easy work. But I wouldn't do that for free. I wouldn't do that for free. I, I don't give a fuck with him. But the clout, what clout? Who said I want his supporters to look at me? <laughs> People always want to bring that up. Yo, you could get working. No, I'm cool. The fuck? I've debated huge YouTubers, right? And one thing I know is that if I'm not talking about a certain topic, people that will come and check me out from there might not rock with me for the long run. But if I sit on here just talking a bunch of bull crap and kicking it and hanging out, those people that still rock with me, they're gonna continue to rock with me. So I don't give a fuck about clout. I don't live that clout life. David Pacman does. David Wackman does. That's, that's his style, woke people, losers. I don't live that life. I, that has no value to me, nigga. Like, what? <laughs> what? Do I get more years added to my life for debating these bozos? Nah, it'd be entertaining though. It'd be insane. I could get that aspect of it, right? But I ain't doing that shit for free. On in the world, right? when you're good at something, you don't do it for free. And also, you don't waste your time, right? And I think a lot of these people are wasting time. I think David Pakman, right? Even speaking to him in a serious light is a waste of time. That nigga is a bozo. That nigga is a bozo. Real talk, a straight bitch. <laughs> and if anyone thinks that I'm saying that I don't care to debate this nigga because and they're saying that the excuses I'm scared, you can eat a dick too. Just 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 gotta let you know that. Just gotta let you know that they're you a pussy, if that's what you have to say. Right? I think those are people that try to use reverse psychology just to get whatever they want, which is bullshit levels of entertainment. I don't fall for that. I don't fall for that. That that shit is some straight loser-ish. But I will continue to roast them. Do I care what he says about me roasting him? No. Hell no. Yes, he is a straight clown. But you gotta talk. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't gotta talk to nobody. Unless they wanna talk to me face to face. And that's not me saying that I wanna do fisticuffs. That's just me saying I'm tired of this pussy internet game. I think it's corny. Straight up. You say, I only need to watch 20 seconds of him to see that. Big facts. Big facts. He is soy as hell. He is a bitch. Capital B, right? He is similar to people like Sam Cedar or you got Hassan. Shoot, sometimes even Destiny, right? Destiny be flip-flopping on anyway. We'll talk about that later. But yeah, David Pacman, he don't scare me. I ain't gonna put no fear in my heart. What are you talking about? Unless you fought five crackheads at the same time in the Bronx and they all got weapons, shut the fuck up with that scare shit. <laughs> you can't say I'm scared of nothing unless you did that, nigga. If you ain't fight five crackheads in the Bronx and they got weapons, you can't say shit about me being afraid. You know what I'm talking about? This shit is just talking. <laughs> I had people try to shoot at me. You think I'm afraid of words? What is on people's biscuit? There's more important things to life than what people think about you. I ain't going to say what I was going to say. But yeah, fam, I think people like that just are bogus. You're supposed to just laugh at them and Keep it pushing. Don't let them affect your day. Real talk. Yeah, no, I never know what the hell he be talking about. <laughs> no, I haven't heard of anybody. Ask them if they heard of me. How about that? <laughs> Have you heard of him? No, no, ask them if they heard of me. They could go in their chats, go in their comment section and name drop my name. Don't ask me if I heard about nobody if I ain't talking about them. 
you could send me an email or a message saying, hey, man, it would be cool if you cover this. But, nigga, I ain't heard of nobody. Nigga, I ain't heard of not a damn soul. Nigga, ask him if they heard of me. Send them my videos. Go to their chat and spam my name. Go in their comment section and ask them if they heard of me. That's what I want to see. Screenshot it. Send it to me. That's what I want to see. I don't... No, I don't, I don't just be looking up people and shit. I'm just, <laughs> I don't care to. I don't care to. Um, but no, nah, I don't know who the hell y'all talking about when you said whatever name you said. I ain't pay attention to it. I don't know nobody. I know the fan gang. I know my supporters. Right? I know Jesus. That's who I know. I know Jesus. Real talk. <laughs> How they talk about. Uh, I ain't beating nobody up, nigga. You got money? Don't ask me to beat up nobody, especially in, in fisticuffs, nigga, because I ain't no fucking doja. <laughs> but if you ask about, like, yo, could you go on to be the... You got money? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you could go beat this random person that you never heard of that I'ma just keep name dropping. No, nigga, I'm good. <laughs> you beat him. You beat them, nigga. How about that? Go handle my light work. Go handle that for me. You go debate them. I said, good morning. Hey, how you doing? Why are you spurting, bro? You nervous? Nah, man. I was just banging out your moms in the back. It was tiring, nigga. It was tiring, you bitch ass nigga. How about that? <laughs> how about that? Hold on, hold on, nigga. I'm on a new type of time. Hold on, hold on. I'm on a new type of time. Watch this, watch this. Watch this, watch this. Hey, get your bitch ass out of here. <laughs> Yo, I used to have a policy of, hey, haters, you could come in. You're more than welcome. It's, no, not no more. Not no more nigga. You disrespect me. You disrespect my supporters. Get the fuck out of my live chat. Eat a dick. The fuck is you talking about, nigga? <laughs> Man, that nigga. Uh, da, da, da. You should speak to them. So much. I don't know what the fuck you talking about. Uh, why would... Yeah. <laughs> you're nervous because you're sweating. Not because I'm just hot. I'm big, nigga. <laughs> Black as fuck. No, none of those reasons. It's got to be because I'm afraid, nigga. How about you You tell me that to my face? How about that? Let's, let's see who's afraid. Right? And that's not a threat. I'm not threatening. I'm not trying to go fist the cups with nobody. Nobody's worth my fucking time. <laughs> when it comes to throwing hands, okay? I definitely ain't doing that shit for free. I'm barely even talking to people for free. Hey, you won't be able to go throw hands and like, nigga, eat a dick. Uh, let's see. Let me see. I might talk about uh, Dusty in a second. Hey, what's up? How you doing? Fan gang. What's good? Good morning, hey. Let's see. MMA fight, how much money? I know, well, I'm not like Dusty Lucas. So, nigga, it's up to the person who's promoting it, right? Give me the opponent, give me the contract, send that shit to me, offer what you can offer, and I'll let you know if it's good. I'm not going to be like, yo, you got to pay me a gazillion. No, I'm reasonable, <laughs> but I've been paid to fight before. Motherfuckers just talk out their ass. I actually got paid to fight before. I'm not going back. To fighting for free. You crazy? What got you to start your channel? I'm going to be honest. I've always spoken the way that I speak. Right? I've always spoken the same way that I speak right now. Right? Always. Since like day one. And people used to always say, oh, you got to start a channel. In fact, I met a YouTuber. I'm not even going to say his name. I met like a big YouTuber years ago. Right? The dude was blowing up, right? And we used to actually just, you know, spar. I used to meet up with a group of people. Sometimes we would go to like the Chinatown or wherever people was training martial arts, get some gloves, and we would just throw hands, right? And I got cool with this guy because we would meet up like every week. So shoot, I would post, yo, whoever want to, you know, come and spar. This is before I even had a YouTube. Whoever want to come and spar, throw the gloves on, show up, blah, blah, blah. And this dude, who was a big YouTuber, used to show up every time to throw them hands, right? And he used to always be like, yo, you funny as hell, man. You should start a YouTube channel. So one day I was just like, F it, right? I was a musician or like a rapper at the time. Why not? It would be a good way to promote my stuff. 
It'd be a great way to promote my stuff. So I did it, right? And then eventually I just fell in love with commentary. And because I'm more successful in commentary than I am in music, even though I have placements, right? I have produced stuff for people who are signing like Warner Records or people that were signing Universal, right? Um, but that's so far in between. And I don't like the game of music, right? Like, if I'm just on call the spade of spade, I still haven't received payment for some of the stuff I produce getting played on radio. Um, so and when I'm controlling my own destiny, I do better. So that's why I started focusing on YouTube. Let's see. OGBX, you already know. <laughs> you already know. Your AC's busted. Well, I could turn the AC on and then you'll barely be able to hear me. So it's two choices, right? <laughs> turn the AC on and it sound like I'm in a train station and this audio will be horrible, can't clean it up. Or I just tough it out and people deal with seeing me sweat for a little while. <laughs> I don't think anyone's going to be hurt because I'm sweating, right? I don't think anyone's going, oh my gosh, he's sweating. <sighs> right? Oh, yeah, the way people comment, you, you would think that hearts stop because they see me sweat. How you doing? I'm chilling. I'm in a, a fun mood. I'm in a fun mood. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Who's trying to get you to fight? Internet beef, internet tough guys are the one, are one of my favorites though. Almost as fun as watching Pandora and Virtual Signal. Um, like everyone, <laughs> except for the, the real supporters. There are people that just want entertainment, right? People would try to like do some nasty trolling in order to like get me to crash out, right? But I'm not like a foolish dude in any way, shape, or form. I don't do that, right? Someone so said something about you. I don't give a fuck. Also, why was they so comfortable saying around you? What did you say? That's gonna always be my first question. What did you say? So-and-so was talking shit about me? What did you say back to them? <laughs> what, what did you say back, right? And, uh, did you defend me? If not, get the fuck out my face, bro. In real life, if someone's coming up to you, so-and-so says something and they didn't defend you, right? And that's not the next thing out their mouth. Um, there's a good chance that they're just instigators that want to use you for entertainment. And I am an entertainer, nigga, but if I'm not making content about it, get the fuck away from me. Simple as that. If I'm not making videos about it or content about it, nigga, I'm not going to do that. You can't trick me, nigga. A lot of people will try to trick you into doing shit and beef on certain YouTubers. There's a YouTuber that was beefing with me a few months back. To where now that I have not given them any fuel or gone back and forth with them, their numbers almost cease to exist. Them niggas is getting one tenth of what the fuck they was getting mentioned in my name, nigga. Which tells me that I have value. Even if it's in a negative light, I'm on some Muhammad Ali shit. People will pay to see me lose. Right? But I won't lose. Haven't lost yet. Haven't lost yet. All right, so let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, great, great. Hey, that's what's up, man. Congratulations. Ain't nothing wrong with doing your thing, man. If you're doing something that makes you happy, shoot, keep on rocking with it. All right, let's talk about D 